I got the game in a squeeze. Who disagree? I wanna see one of y'all run up a feed. Yeah, two overseas, she flying in seven and path to the beach. Yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, what is going on, guys? It is Judge Flow 21. Today, we're gonna be breaking down the badges. Yes, badge tutorial, Judge, up in the building. Time to get it popping, and as y'all can see, we got the shooting guard pure shot curator. Whether you're pure or you're dual, you have these badges, don't matter if it's gold, silver, or hall of fame. I'm gonna break it down for you, make you a much better player than you already are. We're gonna be talking about mid range dead eye, difficult shots, tireless score, as well as deep range dead eye, limitless range, and also drop. Stepper. Now, if you need any help with any other badges or any questions, feel free to comment right down below. I probably already covered it in one of my old videos, but for today, this is what we're we'll talking about. Let's get it lit and let's get it popping. So you definitely want to get into the practice facility, bro. That's four times equal 2,800 per game. As a shot curator, difficult shots, pick and meister will be your best friend. As a shot curator, these are OP badges. If you went the shooting guard way and you're having a hard time, you can't call plays. All you gotta do is tap L1 and click your own icon, which is shown right here. I will circle, I click my own, it gives me an eye saw. I call for the screen and I just go straight to work. First badge we're gonna be talking about is drop stepping. Now this also works for up and under as well. So this is definitely a lethal badge. It's known for the ability to use drop step moves to its advantage in the post. Unlocked by scoring on post drop steps in games or by playing the post control. Drop step drill and practice facility. So I'm going to break it down and show you how to do it in my career as well as practice. What you got to do for this move is you got to use L2, use the analyze stick, do not use R2, and use square. In this play, I'm doing a drop step up and under as well as tire lift scores. You guys can look. I call for it. I want the ISO by myself. Let me get him by myself. There you go. You see the tire lift score. Back him down with the L2. Use the analyze stick, tap square, and boom, I go up. And that's how I worked on three badges at the same time. Another example, like I said, man, many badges go with this drop step. It's a big arsenal. Look at this. Back and down with the L2, with the analyze stick, tap square, and boom, go straight up. Resentless finisher pops up. Uh, difficult shots pops up. Drops that up and under. So many things pop up. If you're having a hard time, like I said, L1, tap your own logo. You're going to have an ISO by yourself. And just go straight to work. Here we go again. Mm. Get off me. Get off of me. That's how you do it, boys. Show you guys how to do it in practice. It's the same thing. Wait for the content. Post them up. Boom. Just go straight up. That's all it is. Next up, we're going to be talking about difficult shots. Now, this badge pops up for a lot of things. Now, I know on the screen it says no for making tough shots off the dribble. But when I do layups, when I dunk the ball, something like that. Difficult shot does pop up, unlocked by making jumpers off the dribble in game or playing the 35 drill in practice. So we're definitely gonna break it down in game as well as practice. Now you definitely need this badge, especially PR shot curators who get it on Hall of Fame. Difficult shot is going hand to hand with a lot of other badges, acrobat, one man fast break, mid range dead eye. Difficult shots goes to hand in hand with a lot of things. Look at this right here. Gonna break this double team behind the back. Acrobat move and it goes in and as you can see, they are counting it as difficult shots along with Acrobat. This is definitely OP as well as picking Maestro because I call for the screen. Take a quick look at this guys. I'm doing the same thing over and over for every single badge. I'm hitting L1, I'm pressing my own icon. Now look at this. This is going to work. I want you guys to pay attention. Look, I'm coming down the lane and I'm dunking the ball. I'm dunking. Now you look at it. I'm getting ankle breaker for that. I'm getting post riser as well as difficult shots. Now, if you don't have the badge on bronze, it will not pop up by that. By that, but don't worry, you are doing it right. Once again, we're coming right back to the difficult shots along going with ankle breaker and acrobat. I'm trying to get him by myself. I call for the screen. That's Pick and Maestro right there. That's off the dribble and hit him with the fillet. Acrobat, Pick and Maestro, everything going together means a lot of rep up points and working on our badges. 
This is how you get difficult shots in practice. To me, it is very easy. You just gotta make sure you're exactly on the symbol because if you're off by it, it will not count. So make sure you guys are really on this dot. It is annoying, but it is kind of easy to get these badges in practice. On the screen, we're gonna be talking about mid-range data as well as deep-range data because they're basically kind of the same thing. Now, people get it confused. You can still get the badge if it's lightly contested. It doesn't have to be heavy contested guys to get this badge you do have to make it in practice it's kind of easier to do it in practice but what i do if you guys got a different method feel free to comment down below what i do is i run up the ball right and i kind of stop at the free throw corners i wait for them to get here i punk fake and then i'll take the shot look at the example i stop right here i hold it and I just go straight up, and that counts towards one man fast break right there, and that counted as mid range dead eye. Here's an example in practice. Once again, you do have to stay on that little dot. That little dot, you gotta stay on there because if you take the shot, it is not going to count. So make sure you guys do this. And it's gonna be the same thing for Luminous, uh, Deep Range, Dead Eye. These badges all go hand to hand, they all work with each other if you're trying to achieve another badge but the method i'm showing you guys should uh be quicker for you we are talking about deep range dead eye pretty much the same thing like mid range dead eye knocks down contested shots from deep range at a high percentage i'm gonna break it down show you guys how i did it in my career and show you how to do it in practice it is easy it is simple all these badges are easy only thing is it is just time consuming same thing for deep range dead eye only thing is now we have the three-point line it could be lightly contested. Look at that. I called for the screen and I shot it. He contested the shot and they still kind of deep range that I, along with difficult shots. When you get that takeover, you got to abuse. Yo, a lot of the times when you're doing deep range dead eye, you also are going to get limitless range at the same time. Now, look at this. Saucing my man. Huh. Just because he jumped in the face, that's going to count towards difficult shots. Limitless range, deep range, dead eye. Look, these badges go hand to hand with each other. For deep range, dead eye, and limitless range, I do suggest you guys play in 12 minutes as well as playing on pro. Look at this. Bow! Green bean sent you bean. Difficult shots, long range, dead eye. It's just crazy, guys. Definitely work on these badges. If we take a look on this, if it says that it's an open shot, it will not count. Like that right there didn't even count. Even though he was kind of next to me, it has to pop up difficult shots, long range, dead eye. Those have to pop up. Here it goes in practice. It's the same thing like we did mid range, dead eye. Now, which would just be behind the three. Now, it is a little bit hard, so you got to make sure you at least have a good three point percentage. I think mine's around here is about, I think, like a 79. So I kind of, I kind of could get through it. But sometimes I kind of struggle a little bit, not gonna lie. If you are a, like, for instance, a sharp shot curator, this might be easier for you. This badge right here, I cannot stress how OP tireless score is. If you can get this badge on bronze, silver, gold, hall of fame, yo, definitely get this badge. This badge is so OP, and it's also gonna help you along with getting other badges. When you're doing tireless score, it's only going to count if it's blinking red. It's because you're scoring buckets while being tired. As you can see, I am blinking. I come right here, shoot that mid-range. Bang! What is you doing, boy? Tireless score pops up. Difficult shots. Another method I got is running the one-man fast break. Just hold R2 running down to play defense. And then kind of get a head start and run back. It is going to start blinking and just pull up a mid-range, do whatever you want. Now, you can see I was cold because trying to get this badge is crazy. It is definitely hard to get tireless score, man. It is so much time consuming, and you are going to miss a majority of your shots. Got a clip for you guys how to do it in practice. You pretty much go for a layup or a dunk. Sometimes your stamina doesn't all the way drop, and it still counts. So pretty much just come to this drill, man, and just go crazy. Dunk the ball. Definitely get inside that paint. This bad, this one is really easy to do it in practice, not gonna lie. Look at this, very early, but I still made it, you know what I'm saying? I had to go crazy trying to get these bad tutorials out there for you guys. If you have anything else, feel free to comment right down below. That's pretty much gonna wrap up the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Now I gotta give a big shout out to Alpha Gang. How to be in my next video, all you gotta do is hashtag Alpha Gang, just like the guys on the screen.
Also, do not forget, we are doing a giveaway picking two winners for 35,000 VC. Now, if you're watching this video and it's old, do not worry because I'm pretty sure we're doing other giveaways. I want to give back to you guys. Let's grind up. Let's hit that 10K. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out. You already know it's your boy, Jerry's trying to help, trying to get back to the community. It's going super savage. GDS Alpha Gain on top. It's your boy who knows what we're going to do next. Stay blessed.